So now we need to take a look at the code we are going to be using to design a column. So the code we are going to be using is the American code and we are going to be using ACI 318. So ACI basically stands for American Concrete Institute. So we are going to be using American code to design our column. So if you want to use the American code or you want to use any code of your choice, you need to follow the requirements. That is, the code is going to give you the requirements which you need to follow in order to properly design your columns. So you definitely need to follow these requirements. So we are going to be taking a look at the ACI 318 requirement for designing of columns. So let's take a look at the requirements. The first one is ACI states that the percentage of longitudinal steel may not be less than 1% no more than 8%. So basically, ACI states that the percentage of longitudinal steel must be from 0.01 to 0.08. So basically, the this is going to be the reinforcement uh, ratio. So it is basically how much steel we have in the, in the column and also how much uh, concrete we have in the column. So it is going, it is basically saying that if we want to design a column, if we want to design a column, at least 1% of that column needs to be steel, or at most 8% of that uh, column. We need that you don't need to provide more than 8% steel in that column. And also you don't need and also you need to provide at least 1% of steel inside the column. So this is basically what ACI is saying. So let's move to the second requirement. So the second requirement is at least four longitudinal bars must be used within the rectangular or circular ties. So what they are saying is at least when you want to design your column, you need to make sure that you provide four longitudinal bars, be it rectangular column, square column, or be it circular columns. The third one is at least six longitudinal bars must be used within spiral ties. So this is for the uh, this is for the circular column. So if you want to design a circular column, you need to provide at least six longitudinal bars. Then let's take a look at the fourth one. The minimum column dimension is about eight to ten inch. So the column dimension you need to provide it needs to be at least eight to ten inch. So if you provide a column dimension of let's say seven inch, this is not going to meet the requirement. So you need to increase the size of the column. You need to make it at least eight to ten inch. Now let's take a look at the bars which is going to be placed in the column. So what is the uh, ACI saying concerning the bars which is going to be placed inside the column? So as you can see here, uh, ACI states that the minimum tie size. So the minimum tie size, this is going to be for the square column or for the rectangular column. So the minimum tie size is either number three bars for longitudinal bars up to 10 in diameter or number four bars for longitudinal bars larger than 10 in diameter. So let's take a look at more requirements. The minimum tie spacing is the largest of, so the minimum tie spacing is going to be the largest of one inch or one longitudinal bar diameter so it is either going to be one inch or one longitudinal bar diameter and the maximum of this the maximum of these two values is going to be the minimum tie space that is the largest of these two values the largest of one inch or one longitudinal bar diameter is going to be the minimum tie spacing and let's take a look at more requirements. ACI states that the maximum tie spacing, the maximum tie uh, spacing is the smallest of 48 tie diameters or 16 longitudinal bar diameters or the least lateral column dimensions. So basically, this is going to be for this is going to be for a rectangular column because for square columns, the dimensions are are, are, are similar why for circular column basically the diameter the, the diameter we are having just one diameter so this is going to be for rectangular column so when it says the least lateral column dimension meaning it is going to be for rectangular uh, columns 
So the maximum tight spacing is going to be the smallest of these three values. So this is what you are going to pick for the maximum tight spacing. And also, ACI states that no longitudinal bar can be located more than six inches for another bar. So if you take a look at this uh, image here, so this is basically the cross uh, section of the column. So what ACI is saying is that no longitudinal bar can be located more than six inches. So as you can see, if you take a look at this uh, cross section of this column, we have different um, bars. So as you can see on this side, we have four bars. On the on the right side, we have four bars. On the down part, we have four bars. While on the left side, we also have a uh, uh, four bars. So many so many in in total, we have four, eight. 12 and 16 bars so what ACI is saying is that they need to be 6 inches or below if the spacing from one if the spacing from this bar to the next bar is more than 6 inches then you obviously need to redesign your column because it is not allowed according to ACI so you need to make the spacing from one from one uh, longitudinal bar to the other longitudinal bar 6 inches or below not more than 6 inches So now let's take a look at more uh, requirements. So this time around, it is going to be uh, the requirement for spiral columns, which is basically the circular columns. So what is ACI saying? ACI state that spirals may not have diameters less than three, three uh, eight inches. So what what is the last one? ACI state that the clear spacing between spirals must be between one to three inches so basically the clear spacing is basically the um, this clear spacing is basically the stirrup for the circular column so this spacing that is the spacing from one stirrup to another stirrup needs to be between one to three inches so a better uh, uh, spacing is going to be two inches so that it is it is in between one and three inches. So if we provide one, two, three inches uh, clear spacing of the stirrup for this for the spiral columns, this is acceptable. But if it if it is more than three uh, inches or if it is less than one inches, this is not acceptable. So you need to redesign your columns. Now the reason why ACI say that it needs to be one to three inches is because we know that spiral columns. Spiral columns they tend to be more better um, during um, earthquake load because because of the spiral ties conf uh, confine the columns better, so they tend to perform better during earthquake uh, during uh, earthquake or lateral load. So what do you expect when we have a spiral column? We need to we need to make sure that the spacing from the spacing from one stirrup to another stirrup needs to be less because when we have less spacing this means the confinement is going the confinement is going to improve but if we have higher spacing meaning it is going to reduce the confinement and when the confinement then has been reduced meaning the performance is going to reduce so this is why ACI is saying that the clear spacing between spires must be between one to three inches so this is the end. So these are the ACI requirements you need to follow when you want to design square columns, you want to design rectangular columns, you want to design circular columns. So in the next um, uh, series of uh, videos, I am going to be showing you how you can design a rectangular columns, how you can design a circular column. So basically, if you can design a rectangular column, you can easily design a square column and if you can design a square column you can easily design a rectangular column so we are going to be learning how to design a square column and also how to design a circular uh, column so i'm going to show you from scratch how you can properly um, take the steps you need to follow to design a reinforced concrete column so make sure you stick with me in this course as i will properly explain everything you need to know to design a reinforced concrete columns.